Hey, what's going on YouTube? Hopefully I can get this video right. Oh man. But let's talk about the Saints. Saints is going to be an X-Factor going into the season. I feel as though not many people are on the Saints. And with the signing of Landry and Tyron Matthews, this team is a team to beat. So last year, they beat Tampa Bay Buccaneers twice. And that's huge. Even I know they're in their same division, but still, beating Tampa Bay Buccaneers twice is a positive to the upside. Just some key notes here. Um, they did sign those two guys as well as they picked up a wide receiver, number one, uh, for their number one pick. They did pick up a uh, offensive tackle for the O-line. And for their third pick, they picked up another defensive back. So the Saints team defensively has been good for the past couple of years. And they only fell off last year because Winston was hurt week six or week eight, should I say. So, looking at week eight, obviously they faced the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They still won that game. They still won it. And after that week, they started going downhill because of the quarterback. So, they lost to Atlanta. Obviously, nope. The quarterback wasn't playing, and they had a substitute in there. Uh, week 10, week 11, week 12, and week 13. Those are all losing streaks. That's a huge losing streak. And it's obvious why they lost it. Then they started picking up after week 14, uh, 15, 16, and 17. And just a note there, all of those games were under 40 points. But we're not going to take those games into consideration because we have a variable that season. And that variable was the quarterback being out for the rest of the season after week eight. So do we have a legitimate spread? Do we have a legitimate total for them? A total? If I was to look at this right now, 45 points under 45, I would say that's the number. But because Winston is out, we don't know how many points he can possibly put up and we don't know how good he can possibly be. So we have to scratch the totals for the moment. If I'm going to gear anything with that wide receiver core, I'm going to go with over 50 for the season. If I was to pick a total, now it still, still is, a, I want to say that's still a question mark. But looking at it, if we really look at it, their wide receiver, uh, Michael Thompson and Landry out there, Thompson didn't play last year. So, them putting up 41 against Green Bay is impressive without, you know, Thompson. At then, you have New England Patriots and so on and so forth. But with those two guys at wide receiver, plus your number one pick, your number one wide receiver pick, that is a huge, a huge advantage. And I think these spreads... These spreads and these totals are definitely a get a boost. Definitely get a boost. I mean, you're going to see a different team. This is going to be a playoff team. I'm going to have the Saints over 50 points. And for their spread, if they're getting points, I'm automatically taking them. I'm sorry. This season, after looking at what I, what I see, there is no way, like, the probability of them winning games or is extremely high. It's extremely high. They still have a good coach. They still have um, good defense. Uh, they have a promising, a promising quarterback who's been practicing, who's been under center behind Drew Brees, who's been practicing for this moment. And he got hurt last year. I think he's going to come back with a vengeance this year. That's my opinion. Uh, you still have a good halfback in the game. I mean, this team is a well put together team and you can see it. You can see it with the Tampa Bay, the two wins against Tampa Bay. Cancel. You can see it with the two wins against Tampa Bay. So with that being said, let's go ahead and look at their opponents. And I'm just going to break some of these games down. So obviously I have them winning against Atlanta Falcons. And because they beat Tampa Bay twice last year, is it possible 
or probable that they're going to beat them twice this year. It can happen, but I feel as though Tampa Bay did take a step back on this first game. I think they can. I think the Saints can beat them this first game, but the second game might be a question mark. But I believe the Saints definitely can have a high probable chance of beating Tampa Bay Buccane- Buccaneers this um, this second week when they face them. Uh, Carolina Panthers. Obviously, I feel as though they can definitely beat the Panthers. Um, the Vikings, they can beat the Vikings. They can. They can. Obviously, that is a gimme game. That's a gimme. Um, the Cincinnati Bengals, I think the Cincinnati Bengals is going to take a dip this year. I think last year they just benefited from having a good schedule. But this year, uh, I think, you know, everybody's going to be gunning for them. Arizona Cardinals. Depending on the Cardinals, because, you know, Hopkins, he comes back week seven. So that's going to be a good game. I'm going to have this game over 50 points. And going going forward, I mean, looking at injuries, looking at injuries, I mean, we're going to we're going to have to take these injuries into consideration. And we're going to have to look at these teams to see if they have bye weeks, because if they have not bye weeks, uh, yep, bye weeks and look ahead games, then. The Saints may be in a good position to win these games. If any of these teams, this team in this big stretch here, has a bye week or a look ahead game, like uh, I have to look at that. I'm gonna look at that and I'm present that to you guys. And I also have a couple other things that I'm working on as well. So. This is why I have my off season and I only do uh, NCAA basketball and football because there's just so much work to do to get the most out of your money rather than just breaking everything down. And here's a piece of the puzzle and we can really look at it. And as you've been watching my videos, you've been seeing patterns and things that you're definitely going to take into consideration moving forward, not only in this season, but in the rest of sports betting as well. So hopefully... I was able to make that happen, but then again, you know, uh, let's get back into this. Uh, looking at week 14, week 14, they have a bye. So Tampa Bay Bucks, this is the, one of the reasons, uh, this is going to be, this bye week is late in the season and the Tampa Bay, uh, Buccaneers are benefiting for this bye week at this point. I think the Saints, if the Saints been, you know, really doing well, they may give up a L here. They may give up a loss because it's, before bye week, you know, guys is um, looking forward to being off. And after the bye week, they got an easy game. They have an easy one. So, I mean, you just, I mean, yeah, we, we've seen the evidence uh, in the previous game. Also, uh, looking at it, looking at it, their bye week came early last year. So, if they're doing really good this season, if they're doing really good, like I believe they will be then the Bucks definitely have a chance of winning this game. Atlanta Falcons, I think that's going to be a gimme. Um, we don't know what to make on the Cleveland Browns yet. If uh, if Mayweather is going to play, Mayweather, uh, if <laughs> Mayfield is going to play, or if uh, Watson is going to play, we don't know yet. Uh, Eagles, that's going to be a tough one. I like the Eagles. And the Carolina Panthers, uh, I think they're going to win that one. So that's my take on it. And getting a number, like, look at what they were doing without Michael Thomas. They got what they were doing without him. Jeez. So, I would say a negative three for the Saints, definitely. And over 50 points this year. Over 50. Now, I'm going to sit and wait. No, I'm going to bet. I'm going to bet. Because they face, who they face this week? They face first week, oh, Falcons. So, uh, under 50 points for uh, weak teams. Remember, because this team's a weak. So, they probably could blow this team out with the defense they have, but I don't think they will. So, I do like uh, under 50 points if you can get it, if you can adjust the numbers. Um, I think 45 has been the average Let's see, 45 points have been the average. But again, but then again, you didn't have the wide receivers you have now. He has a good tight end. 
uh, good offensive line and good defense. Uh, this, yeah, I'm I'm a bet under 45 because that the um, Falcons is going to be a weak team this year. But that's what I have. So uh, definitely get them at a negative three and 50 points uh, going into the season and. I'm going to have to adjust the numbers every two weeks after I see a game or whatnot if it needs adjusting. So that's how I'm going to approach the Saints this year. I'm excited about the Saints. They can do a lot of, lot of damage. But I appreciate you guys watching. Like, subscribe, share. And most importantly, bet wisely. I'm going to be bringing you the, uh, the schedule. And we're going to go over the first week, see what we can uh, see in the first week, see if there's something that we can uh, make happen. All right. Appreciate you guys. Later.